All right, so I've got two boxes from Wee Bike today. I've been waiting forever for these, for these, or one of them, I should say, because it was back order and they had to, you know, there was basically no stock and they had to wait for the uh, the manufacturer to uh, to produce some more. So that was like I ordered it, ordered it like, geez, probably two months ago. Um, so we'll see what, what's in here. Okay, so here's one. So that's one of the things I've been waiting for. This is a side cover for the monkey. Side cover uh, made from uh, Kojima. Made by Kojima. <clears throat> so this is the uh, the bottle side cover. Cause you know, looking here, you know the um, right here where the monkey is. That's where the exhaust pipe is. But I'm actually, you know, I have a different exhaust pipe, a lower, lower exhaust pipe. So this, you know, this all this dead space here that looks goofy with, you know. So that's what this cover is. And obviously it's black, so I have to get this painted, uh, painted yellow. So it has all the mounting, the mounting hardware in there. There's that. Another thing I was waiting for is this right here. This is, um, this should be the spools for the, uh, Damn, I need to sharpen this knife. So I'm forgetting to sharpen that knife. These should be the spools. Yeah, these are the spools. So I could uh, basically put it up on, you know, instead of... I mean, my, uh, my, my side stand could hold both this, by the swing arm or the spools. But I'd rather use the spool side because it's, it's more stable that way, it doesn't slide. Oh, this is nice. Wow, this is really nice. It's all it's all CNC machine. Wow, that's nice. Stainless center, aluminum on that side, aluminum on this side. So, yeah, so that's what I've been waiting for. So those two. And this one was also back order as well. They had to they had to make this thing too. So, so literally that was like two months ago. Waiting for both that cover and the, and the spool. So that's that. This one. So those first two were for the monkey. This one should be for my uh, CB. Let's see. So I got another throttle grip. Actually, that's uh, let's see. I got three of these now. So I have one for the. I already put one in the TB, three hundred. I have one for the Super Cub, and, and I, I have one for the Monkey as well. Um, so the Monkey I already have a G two grip, but I'm gonna put this one in because it's it's twenty five percent versus the G two grip being only uh, twenty percent. And I'm probably gonna put the G two grip on my on my. Uh, On my uh, scooter, I'll probably have to file it down or, or you know, cut it down to make it fit. I need to sharpen this damn knife. It's so dull. Let's see. So this is the uh, this is the uh, braided braided lines, stainless steel braided lines for the CB. So it's the front only. So you know, with, with motorcycles, you don't need you don't need stick the lines in the back that's that's I think that's just ridiculous you don't need that and this I have a little um, piggyback uh, fuel controller since I since I got the exhaust you know anytime you put an exhaust on a, on a on a motor it changes the fueling a little bit so I got this to kind of play around with it and uh, yeah that's it it's basically it's just a plug and play um, so yeah, it's so a plug, plug and play. Setting, fuel ratio, you add, oh that's kind of cool. Fuel ratio, you get basically add fuel or subtract fuel. And obviously I think I'm gonna be adding fuel, probably a little bit. And setting, I'm not sure what the setting, what that means. Um, so I got that little thing. Again, this is from, from WeBike. Sure everything's in. It's in Japanese. I have no idea how to read this. So it's 
the wiring harness. Set the wire harness. And uh, let's see. This is BMW. That's too funny. So here's some uh, initial instructions. So yeah, so the second one again is fuel ratio. I'm not sure what the setting does. Um, so anyways, I'll figure it out when I. Uh, in. I, might, I might not even push it, put this in just because you know, I've changed the um, I've changed the uh, my exhaust you know the, the aquaphobic I changed the um, how, how, how it flows so I'm, I'm having it flow more like like stock so you know the more closer it is to stock the less affected it gets as far as fueling goes and stock, I didn't notice any really fueling difference, and even with the aquaphobic, I didn't really notice much of a fueling difference either. So, uh, so I probably might not need this, but uh, that's it.